my youtube channel if you're a new viewer or a new subscriber welcome to the channel of love and if you're a returning subscriber or returning viewer you already know how much i love you i don't have to tell you that i love you too much so this month on someone said ask a question is feminism a blessing or a cost i had a couple of replies but here's what some people had to say about the topic is feminism a blessing or a cost mm. here's my own perspective I think it's a blessing rather than a curse because feminism is a movement for the equality of sexes that is the male and the female to gain equal grounds in different areas in the society that is uh, social political economic or personal uh, areas in the society uh, and when you hear feminism, the first thing that comes to people's mind is a group of women trying to uh, trying to hijack the role of the men, trying to function as men in the society. No, that's not it at all. It is women just clamoring for change because we live in a society where uh, the, the the male the male folks have more dominance than the women. Because women are seen as weaker vessel, they are looked down upon, they are discriminated, they they, they see them as a um, inferior beings that lacks uh, that lacks ability to do some certain things in the society. That let me just say, people that don't have like say they are not relevant. You see, the culture, tradition, they treat women differently. So it's just women clamoring to clamoring to have equal grounds in the society in different as uh, a perspective so as a man and feminism is not all about women it's for both sexes it's for both sexes and the common the common thing among uh, among this is that they are all feminism is fighting for the equality of the sexes that is the male and the female to have equality equal grounds equal opportunities in different areas of life and feminism has moved further to fight against um uh, women campaign against women being violated oppressed discriminated and all sort of atrocities that has been as that has been committed against women so this movement is a blessing if you ask me it is because a cause like this that's is trying to make is uh trying to better uh, move uh trying to make the women know their worth and know their value and know that they can do more in the society it's a good cause if you ask me and it's more of a blessing hi guys it's Osei here again um so we're talking about is feminism is feminism okay? A course or if it's a blessing so I'm gonna start by saying feminism started well it started well but what we're seeing now is not what feminism used to be and I'll make my my key points okay most of you might might not like them so number one i agree that every human being should be allowed to do what is allowed by the society to do which is whatever a man is allowed to do a woman should be allowed to do that fine guaranteed um secondly um i think that um um, now in this mo mo modern society women are allowed to do most of the things that they could not do before and I think they have come a long way but now it's becoming like more of a it's now becoming more of a gray area now so right now it's becoming more of it's like they're advocating for more special treatment because they are women and I, but I thought you wanted to be equal, but you're advocating for more special treatment. You cannot have, um, you cannot have b b both sides at, at, at the same time. You cannot eat your eat your apple and have it. Okay, you cannot 
say you want to be equal and then you say you want special treatment. You cannot say you want to be equal and then you say, oh, 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 they are, oh, why, uh, because why do they body body shame? But they, they, they don't body shame men. Who told you they don't body shame men? What are you talking about? Men body shame each other all the time, all the all the freaking time. If you want to be equal, you should be able. You should want to. You should be able to take somebody. If you want to take some some body body shaming, okay? Because that's equal. The, the, the last time I checked, we are in a democracy, and in democracy, freedom of speech. So if I say, oh. That guy looks fat. It's not a crime. It is not body shame. If you cannot handle that, then you should not be asking to be equal because that's what equal means. Equal means I get to say shit to you and you get to take it all in just the way you can say shit to another guy or say shit to another girl and they cannot kill you for that. They get to, to, to take that all in and you know, come up with a reply because it's a f freedom of speech. And let me let me get something straight. I do know the challenges women face when it comes to um, the sexual approach of most men. Like Dave, Dave Chappelle said in one of his shows, uh, girls being a woman is like owning fifteen thousand dollars in your wallet, walking in the street at night. You know, if everybody wants to own fifteen thousand dollars. And you need to be careful because everybody's gonna be on you if they know you got fifty thousand dollars. So that's the way women are. Everybody wants what they have. What everyone wants what they have. And I really, uh, really, uh, what's it called? And I'm how how do I put it? And I'm I really do understand how it would feel to be every day to be under that sort of pressure by a way that you get this large amount of uh, attention. Okay, but there again. They love the attention. Let's not forget that. Let's not try to like make it all, you know, they love the attention, okay? And I'll tell you, it's not just women who are facing sexual or who are, who are prone to this. Men are prone to this too. And they don't take this part of men uh, abuse seriously. That's why, they, that's why there's a rising group of homosexuals in Nigeria. And people don't know that homosexuality is a behavior. It, you're not born. And homosexual it, it is a behavior and if as and it's a behavior it's sometimes it most times has something to do most times is related to sexual abuse like men being sexual and because nobody cares about men being sexual abuse it's been it's been overlooked so it's better it's because it's better you become a, a humanist than a feminist being a humanist we can you know together solve the real problem which is the justice system and we've solved the justice system we'll be able to tackle any system of of of, of abuse thank you hmm. so that's what they think about the topic if you have a different view a different opinion please drop it in the comment section do not forget everybody's entitled to their own opinions so drop yours in the comment section if you have something different to say let's talk about it let me know let's talk let's just Stay safe, stay woke. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and follow me on my Instagram at I'm underscore ages. Do not miss anything on this channel. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button down there and join my family of love. I love you so much. Stay safe, stay woke. To meet again on the next video. Bye, darling.